Yeah, Suriname is in South America, which is very interesting, given that, you know, Suriname, it doesn't sound very South American, does it? And the people there are very dark complected. I met a few ones in Norway. Yeah, very interesting. Well, not all, obviously, there's different, but the indigenous people, or at least the people that I met, had very dark complexions, yeah. So the natives. Well, sure. Were they restless, though? That's the question. Now, Suriname, we have not done a video for, so that's perfect. Yay! Suriname is going to be next on our silver coins around the world, the world, the world, the world. All right. Klaatu Varata Nikto. Suriname. That's Surrey name, isn't it? Well, let's get the pronunciator to tell us if it's Surrey name or Suriname. And Eva is going to be a good baby and do stuff for it. Do little parlor tricks. Little Eva parlor tricks. Little Eva. Petty, petty. All right, let's get this up. Suriname or Shuri name? Is it Shuri name? Let's see how the pronunciator says it. Yeah, the pronunciator. The pronunciator. Eva really likes coins. She likes to lay on coins. Luxurious coin lanes. That's what that's. She wants to live in the lap of luxury and uh, the highest, highest levels thereof. All right. Suriname pronunciation from the experts at the pronunciator. Suriname. 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 Not, Suriname. not Shuri name. It's Suriname. Suriname. And whatever I Suriname. just said, it scared Eva off. All right. So, Suriname. Let's. We we just checked it off, so we better break out the coinage, huh? It's Suriname time. Are you ready for Suriname? Yeah. You ready for this? Are you sure? That's right. Ready or not, here we come. Suriname has been checked off the list, therefore we must produce a silver coin, and we're not going to have another Gabon situation. No. No, 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 no. This, I, this I swear, from now on, I better know if we actually have a coin from there before I even start the video, right? Boy, if I edited, I'd be dangerous, wouldn't I? Okay, now, where's it at? Where's it at? Well, here it is. You ready for it? Here, check that thing out. Check that thing out. That's pretty cool. You got your eye, eye goggle? Your, yeah, uh, yeah, pull my eye out. Give us the eye, Perseus. Perseus, pull out your eye. Oh, and we'll tell you what you want to know. Just give us the eye. Give us the eye, Perseus. Isn't that nice? And that hand don't work. Here you go, have this. <laughs> Guys, are you ready to see the delicious Suriname coinage? Yeah, isn't that cool? Summer Games Barcelona 92 100 Gilder. So you, maybe the Netherlands is involved somehow. All right, and there it is, Suriname. Surrey. Let's really explore the space on this now. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Boats and trees and stars and men wearing loincloths with bows and staves and <gasps> claw claw bite. Claw claw bite. Cool kids. There's a bonus though. That's not all. That's the coin I bought 
a long time ago and probably paid way too much for it because I had to get it from Europe. No, no, no. I made an egregious error. Yes. I got ahead of myself because, as it turns out, I ins was able to procure this delicious honka honka Suriname fun just today came in the mail yeah well yesterday there it is Royal Mint the Royal Mint authorized by the Central Bank of Suriname so that means it counts for our purposes and what do we get here what do we get well you're not gonna believe the goodness okay this is celebrating Hold on, I'm going to read it to you here. This is celebrating the uh, oh, Surinamese swimmer whose name is Anthony Nesty. Yeah, take that Nesty, Nesty plunge. <laughs> and there is Anthony Nesty in all of their glory. And right here on the back, on the reverse, Suriname and proofy, powerful goodness. And this coin's about 0.86 ounces or so. So, yeah. And the mintage on this bad boy, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that information on this little, little deal here, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty low. Now. Real quick aside here, don't want to get too off off base, but a quick aside here. This is not the only coin I got in this lot for 50 bucks. Yeah. I also got a much scarcer coin that I need to check and see real quick, actually, if we have, um, so you have to realize that this, this coin is almost a troy ounce of silver and i actually own the non-proof version of this coin and they're both really rare yeah really rare but i just want to see real quick before i show it to you guys i'm pretty sure i already did a video on it all right let's check and samoa 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 A, S, A, Samoa. Yes, we already did a video, so we can do that. All right, guys, this is the coin I got. Now, this Premier Deluxe Hunka Hunka is the exact same coin as our other Samoa coin. And both had near melt, mind you. And both very, very rare. Okay. This is the regular strike. This is the proof. You guys, to really see this, this is in 50% silver with a mintage of 3,000. But this coin is actually rarer, more scarce than this coin, which had a uh, thousand more coins, if I remember right, made. So this is actually rarer than this, which often happens with commemoratives. We've talked about this. But this coin's in 50%. This is in sterling. So this is nearly an ounce. This is about probably half an ounce. Let's check. Yeah, just over half an ounce. Look at that. Man, isn't that cool? So this is the stuff you can find out there, guys. Near melt or, hell, this is probably under melt. Yeah, this is bah, bah, 24. Yeah, right near melt. Let's not drop it, right? Um, so... And this, this coin was 25 bucks, you know? Nice, nice. Anyway, so you get the idea. So we actually have uh, about an ounce and a half of Samoan silver now. And most people have zero ounces of Samoan silver, right? How much Samoan silver you got? None. Wow. You, you're in proxy, though. You're in close proximity to all the Samoan silver you could ever want. <laughs> All right, that's an aside. Let's get back to the point, though. The point of this video is it's not Samoa. It's Suriname. 
Remember Suriname? So Suriname, what is a Suriname? Well, we just talked about it, didn't we? It's a country in South America, not Asian, even though it sounds it sounds Asian, doesn't it? Suriname. Remember the guinea pig yesterday. We talked about the guinea pig. It's from South America. And yet it sounds African, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're going to find out, hopefully, why this place is called Suriname and why it's a small country. Here we go. So let's, well, first I always like to show a little, they always show us a little picture of Suriname, the various little spots in these countries that, you know, everybody goes to. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice? And that, oh, imagine you're in the dense jungles of Suriname hunting for three toad sloths. Wait, I don't know. I don't even know if they live there. They probably do, though. I bet, I bet I'm close. I'm, I'm in the ballpark. Isn't that nice, guys? Look at that. Wow. Okay. Very scenic, very premier. Here's their flag. And they're right next to your favorite place, Guiana. Now, what do you remember about Guiana? Jim Jones. Jimmy Jones. Jimmy, Jimmy. Have you ever met Jim Jones? Yes. You've met Jim Jones, haven't you? Because you're from, you lived in San Francisco. I was a member of the People's Temple. You were a member of the People's Temple? We missed being down there by two months. Yeah, we were almost two months from me being dead and you being dead, huh? Wow. Hold on, do I, did I get to say I was a member? Apparently, yes. Uh oh, guys. He met you too. Yeah, did we meet? I met Jim Jones. Yes. Did he bless me? I didn't let him. You didn't let him? Mess with you. Oh, he does mess he? Mess with the children. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So you had Jim Jones messing with children? He was messing with children. Well, that's some Usually BF. the girls. But he liked the girls. And you knew, did you know about this or did you find out later? I found out later. Found later. That makes more sense. The circle of life. Anyway, that's crazy stuff. Uh, let's get back to the <laughs> back to the. All cults are crazy. They are. Yeah, David Koresh did something very similar. He did too, and so did that uh, Mormon guy. Uh, yeah, there's a. Yeah, I remember. I know who you're talking about. I forget Jim, his name. Jim. Jim uh, yeah, yeah, Jim. Jess. Yeah, he was. They were doing some crazy stuff. Miriam, what ten year old? Yeah, 10, 12 year olds and uh, multiple wives. and. Well, that's part of Mormon culture. Yeah, well, it's not part of my culture. That's not, I'm not here to judge, though. You know what? You may think, care what, what would you do with a, a whole bunch? Well, that's what I'm saying. One's more than enough wives. Why, would, why on earth would you ever say? Well, they so control their wives better. Well, I mean, I don't want to be controlling, but I guess maybe I need to start. Maybe I do need to be a Mormon uh, polygamist. Is it polygamist? Yeah. Ooh. Polygamy, 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 polygamy. Speaking of the devil, guess who's calling me right now? Over and over and over again. I have no idea. Um, eggs erroneous. Oh. Yeah. There is Suriname. See that? Now you'd expect Suriname to be over. Wait, well, it's not even on the map. On the other side of the world, like, but it's not. It's right there, South America. So let's find out why it's called Suriname, and why. So first of all, let's talk about the capital. The capital is Paramaribo. Party town, party town, Paramaribo. You didn't know, did you? Now, hold on. I called this. I said, the Netherlands, didn't I? And if you're from the Netherlands, are you Dutch? So they speak Dutch there. So why are they speaking Dutch in Suriname? These questions and many more will have to be answered. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see here. So the ethnic groups are 27.4%. Native American, or do they mean Indian? Dot not, yeah, it's Indian. Okay, so there's a lot of Indians in South America. I've noticed when we've been doing these videos, like from India, Indian. All right, Maroon Bashinangu. So the number one ethnic group in Suriname is Indians from India. Number one. So it's a mostly Indian 
like Hindu country. Although most people there are Christian. Maybe that's why it's called Sardar. Okay, so your your people, you got the Maroon, Bushaningu, Creole, Javanese, multiracial. So Javanese is Indonesian, if I'm if I remember right. Oh, well that explain that might explain some of the uh because the ones I met were very dark complected. That might explain it. Yeah. All right, anyway. Uh, Christianity's uh, 52.3%. Uh, Hinduism's 20, about 20%, 18.8%. Islam, quite a lot quite a lot of Islamic folk. We're, oh, the Javanese. The, they're, they're Muslims in Indonesia, yeah. Wow, okay. And then folk religions. So the witch doctor. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting. While the, okay, got it. Oh, I'm not trying to make fun of nobody. So they got their independence in 1954. Uh, and they were a constituent country with the kingdom of the Nadalans. And they got independence from the Nadalans in 1975. So why is England making their coins? That's odd. Well, they make a lot of coins for a lot of people. Maybe it makes perfect sense. All right. Population of 632,000. So that's not very many people for a big old, you know, like a whole country. Okay. That's why I only met like two or three people from there. Well, maybe the wild animals have a better. Yeah. So they have, uh, they're 91st in the world in per capita income at 18,311. That's, that's pretty good for the 1980s here in the U.S., right? So they're only about 40 years behind. <laughs> and they're told that... And they're better off being behind. Oh, sure, sure. And they're told that there's 11.435 billion. Not a lot of people have that much money, but there are some people in the world with more money than Suriname. It's GDP. Okay. Uh, they have the Surinamese dollar. That's their... Yeah, so this... this well, ours said Gilder, though. But our coins are older. So they must have gone to the dollar. They said, forget the gilda, give me the tala. Let's call it the tala dollar. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Suriname was inhabited as early as the fourth millennium. The indigenous people, the Arawaks, the Caribs, and the Wayanas. And then in the 16th century, the Europeans came and colonized with the Dutch establishing control over much of the current territory by the late 17th century. During the Dutch colonial period, Suriname was a lucrative source of sugar. Its plantation economy was initially driven by African slave labor, and there it is. That's why them folks I met from Suriname were so dark complected. They were very dark complected. And with the abolition of slavery in 1863, indentured servants were brought from Asia, predominantly from India. And the Dutch East Indies, which is Indonesia. It all makes sense now. And Suriname became a constituent country of the Kingdom of Nadalans. On 25 November 1975, it became independent following negotiations with the Dutch government. Suriname continues to maintain close diplomatic, economic, and cultural ties with the Netherlands. Suriname's culture and society strongly reflect the legacy of Dutch colonial rule. It is the only sovereign nation outside of Europe where Dutch is the official language and prevailing language of government, business, media, and education. An established 60% of the population speaks Dutch as a native tongue. Suriname Tongo, an English-based Creole language, is widely used in Languia Franca. Most Suriname are descendants of slaves and laborers brought from Africa and Asia by the Dutch. Suriname is highly diverse with no ethnic group forming a majority. Proportionally, its Muslim and Hindu populations are the largest and third largest, respectively, in the Americas. Most people live along the northern coast, and, and we're almost to 20 minutes, so let's hurry up and get to the economy. Gold, they have a gold mine. Woo, it's a gold mine. Suriname's democracy gained some strength after the turbulence of 1990s and its economic 
uh, economy became more diverse and less dependent on Dutch financial assistance. Bauxite, we read about that, remember? Uh, Guinea has a lot of bauxite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it Guinea that had the bauxite? I think it was Guinea. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't do any of the other guineas. Oh, we didn't do the other guineas? There's so many guineas. Anyway, strong revenue source but has ended now. The discovery and exploitation of oil and gold has added substantially to Suriname's economic independence. Agriculture, especially rice and bananas, remain a strong component of the economy. And ecotourism. They keep talking about ecotourism. I think there's one little goofball who keeps adding that, maybe. Maybe hoping to garner interest in this. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You know, these these, uh, articles are all written by volunteers. And sometimes volunteers have agendas. Anyway, uh, maybe it is ecotourism city out there. More than 93% of Suriname's landmass consists of unspoiled rainforest. And that, to me, sounds like a recipe for death. But I guess some people call it ecotourism. Um, <laughs> with the establishment of Central Suriname Nature's Reserve in 1998, Suriname signaled its commitment to conservation of this precious resource. The Central Suriname Natural Reserve became the World Heritage Site. 2000. A world heritage site. Do you hear me? Yeah. Go play with the wild animals. Yeah, go play with them. Go play in the road. I got you. Ministry of Finance. The economy of Suriname was dominated by the bauxite industry, which accounted... I wonder if they get along with the guineas, given that they both fight to sell that bauxite, right? Man. Huh. Well, they don't see each other. I guess there's a whole Atlantic Ocean in between them. Yeah. Or they have guinea pigs in Ghana. I know they're from Peru, but you think they have guinea pigs in Ghana? Or uh, well, what, not if, Ghana. If they did, the, na- the native um, animals Sur- would Suriname. already have them. Yeah. Made. The Suriname economy is very dependent on commerce. Its main trade partners are the Netherlands, United States, Canada, the Caribbean. We're already over 20 minutes. Let's just go with it. Mainly uh, Trinidad, Tobago, islands of the former Netherlands Antilles. After assuming power in the fall of 1996, Wijden Bosch, sorry, government ended the structural adjustment program of the previous government, claiming it was unfair to the poorer elements of society. Tax revenues fell as old taxes lapsed, and the government failed to implement new tax alternatives. By the end of 1997, the allocation of the new Dutch development funds were frozen and as Suriname's government relations with the Netherlands deteriorated. I don't know. Um, yeah, poor tax collection, bloated civil service, and a reduced foreign aid contributed to a fiscal deficit estimated at 11% of GDP. The government sought to cover this deficit through monetary expansion, which led to, oh, surprise, surprise, inflation! Yay! I wonder, I wonder... Where else that has happened in the world? Anyway, it takes longer on average to register a new business in Suriname than virtually any other country in the world. It takes 694 days, or about 99 weeks. And the GDP is 4.794 billion. Annual growth is 3.5%. Per capita income is 9,900. None of this matches the numbers we saw at the top. Inflation was 6.4% in 2007. That seems like a very dated number, given that's nearly 20 years ago. And quite frankly, uh, we see all the things they produce, and now I'm just over it. Bye, Suriname. Bye, Suriname. Hold on, what about human rights? How are human rights there? I like I like to look up the human, human rights. Do all these diverse uh, people get along? They use the Gregorian calendar. And, oh, Islamic calendar. So they have their, they don't even have the same. <laughs> and they have, uh, yeah, several holidays, which are unique to Suriname. Um, and I wonder what the murder rates are like, you know, what, what's the crime rate like? Cricket is popular. Uh, isn't it cricket? Cricket? Is it cricket or cricket? Depends on whether you're pronouncing it French or English. Oh, okay. Gotcha. E.T. in French is a, a, a. Oh, they have a coughed ball team. Corf ball? Corf ball? I don't even know what that is. Corf ball. I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to learn about that. 
Let's look at the health. Hell, let's go all out on Suriname. Uh, study provides uh, the health, uh, injuries, and death rate. Death rate, here we go. Age, standardized death rate. Uh, far below that of Haiti, somewhat below that of Guyana, but much worse than Bermuda. And life expectancy was 72 years, 69 for male, 75 for female. That tells me there's probably a lot of violent crime, and that's a, quite a gap. Uh, death rate of children as uh, compared to Haiti, uh, lower than Haiti. And Cardiovascular disease, cancer, and diabetes were the number one killers, which, you know, that, that stands to reason. All right. I, look, we've done enough on Suriname. You think? Mm -hmm. Have we covered Suriname? You want to go there? Would you like to go there and hang out with the Surinamese? Suriname? Also, how's your Dutch? Uh, my Dutch is terrible. Your Dutch? Mine's worse. So is my German. Your German? Yeah, yeah. And they're closely related. Well, sure. Absolutely. I mean, Deutsch, Dutch, douche. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, guys, have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. That was Suriname in a nutshell. If you get a chance, check it out. Do your own research and really explore the space. You know, we should really look at the Surinamese coin one more time, right? You'll play with the Ooh, you can play with an anaconda, I'm told. Yeah. I have no idea, but it's close. Well, it would be. I mean, the Amazon River has to run south of there and through Brazil. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you would think an Actually, anaconda. The Amazon runs from west to east. Oh, there you go. So, But it still runs through Brazil. So that's cool. And then there you go, Suriname, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.